Hello, how are you all? I hope you're all doing well by the grace of God Almighty. Thank you for watching Nagia Cartoons. In today's video, we will reveal the eye opening truth so that we can understand what is happening in our world. We received a story from an anonymous who requested not to mention her name. As we all strongly believe, as long as we continue to walk on the path of God, success will surround us from all sides. And however, when we deviate from God's path, we will have to face difficulties. In our lives, we make many decisions, but some decisions, which we consider ourselves very wise, are not actually our wisdom, they are our deception, the consequences of which we regret. As you all know, in this verse of the Bible, God has given us a message, let us show you what it is. Proverbs 14 12 There's a way that appears to right, but in the end, it leads to death. This verse highlights the danger of relying solely on our own judgment and perceptions, as what may seem right to us at the time can ultimately lead to negative consequences. It emphasizes the importance of seeking God's guidance and wisdom to make sound decisions. Now let's start this video and watch together what happened in this. I'm calling from HR department. And I want to inform you that you have been selected for admission to our university. This year we will get a good yield of crops. Because the rains have benefited our crops a lot. What do you say Liam? Semester. Yeah. Kindly also arranged for the money. Don't worry about the money at all. The She's savings. 20 years old now and mature. I advise you to explain everything to her with love. Very cautiously. We have to see step by step what our religion is telling us and we should not done anything in life that our religion does not Mommy, permit. Don't worry. My packing is complete. I've put all the necessary Seems things like in our university has a very open atmosphere. Look at their dressing. It appears that a lot of broad-minded people study in this university Tuka apartment. Fashion designing and modeling are my passion. And the remaining time I have, I dedicate to my education. It's the responsibility of every parent to provide education to their children. Please come out of this fantasy world. You just focus on your work, everything else will be better. I'm here for you, don't worry. Miss Harper? You are speaking. How are you? I am Harper, who are you? Please tell me. I'm Victoria. I'm calling from HR department. And I want to inform you that you have been selected for admission to our university. Your classes will start next month. Please come and join your university. Oh really? Thank you so much, Madam Victoria. It was my dream to study in this university. I have been preparing for its test for six months. I am very happy that you have given me so such good news. You have worked hard for the entrance test of this university and your efforts have paid off. I am now ending the call. Next month, you have your classes. Pay your first semester's fees and join your classes. Thank you, bye. I've received great news. Now I'll go and tell mommy and daddy. They will also be very happy. Mummy, I'm coming to you with some really good news that will make you jump with joy too. Harper, my daughter, if you've brought such good news, why haven't you told me yet? Tell me, what news do you have that's making you so happy? Mama, I just received a call from the HR department of my university where I had appeared for the entrance test. I've been selected Mama. And they informed me that I cleared the test I took earlier. My classes will start next month. They called me just now to share this good news. Are you telling the truth? This is such great news. And you know, in the university where you're getting admission, people only dream of studying there. I'm very happy, Harper, that you cleared their entrance test and have been successful in getting admission there. Mama, I can't express the extent of my happiness to you. I'm going from a small village to a big city to study. There will be big people there, big things. There will be quite a lot of changes in my life. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'll send your little brother to your daddy. He have gone to the fields to inspect his crops. When he hear this news, he will jump with joy. Yes, mom, absolutely. Send the younger brother. He can inform daddy. And I'll prepare my clothes. I need to pack for taking along. Mark my son, 
Your daddy has gone to the fields to check the crops. Go quickly and tell him the good news that Harper has been selected for university admission. Oh really mama? Okay, okay I'm going to tell daddy. Yes, go quickly and tell him this news. Thanks to God for the rain yesterday, my crops have improved significantly. This year we will get a good yield of crops. Because the rains have benefited our crops a lot. What do you say Liam? Yes, there is no doubt about it. My farmer brothers will jump with joy this time, because the government is also giving a very good rate. Yes, you are right. This time the crops are getting a very good rate. Daddy, I have brought a piece of very good news for you. Harper has been selected. She just received a call from the admissions department of her university. Mama asked me to go and tell Daddy. Oh, really? This is such great news that my daughter has been admitted to such a big university in the city. Now, she will study there and become a big officer. Yes, Daddy, no one in our entire family has ever been admitted there because their standard is very high. But our sister has been admitted there. God, I am immensely grateful to you for making my daughter successful. Son, now let's go together and congratulate your sister on this joyous occasion. Sure, Daddy. Harper, I am very happy for your success, and I cannot express my happiness in words. Keep moving forward, keep progressing. My prayers will always be with you. Thank you very much, Daddy. I am also very happy, and I need to pay the fee for the university's first semester. Kindly also arranged for the money. Don't worry about the money at all. The savings I have are the profits from my crops. I save them for you all. Because you all are my children, and my wife, who mean everything to me. All right, Daddy. Liam, listen to me. If you have so many things on your mind, then these matters should be shared directly with her in my presence. Don't keep them swirling around in your mind, and whatever you're telling me, tell her too. Yes, Rina, these things come to my mind, they come to my thoughts because we live in a small village and our daughter is going to study in a big city first time. Where there are different kinds of people, and we will be very far from her. So, I get worried about many things. Look. Liam, our daughter is not a little girl anymore. She is 20 years old now and mature. I advise you to explain everything to her with love. All right, there are a few days left until her departure. I'll sit her down in the morning and discuss all these matter with her in front of you. Okay, all right, Liam. <laughs> I know you're feeling jealous of me, but don't be. When you complete your education, you'll also get admission in the big city. Sissy, when you leave for university to study, we will miss you a lot, and I will feel very bored. Harper, you are being called by your daddy. Please come along with me. Okay, Mama, I'm coming. Yes, Daddy, you called me? Yes, my daughter. I have called you because I want to talk to you about few things that are on a father's mind regarding his daughter. Daddy, tell me, what's bothering you? Let's discuss it openly. Harper, my daughter, we come from a very respectable family, we have to live life very cautiously. We have to see step by step what our religion is telling us and we should not done anything in life that our religion does not permit. And God has shown us many guidelines for living life in the Bible. If we follow them, we will only succeed. So, and I'm sending you to a big city with full confidence. The environment you'll be in is very different from the small village where you've lived until now. Yes, Daddy, you're right. I understand what you're saying. You will meet people of various backgrounds who hold different perspectives. I am sending you for education, and remember, I never want to hear anything that would make me feel ashamed and unable to look someone in the eye. You need to maintain the same routine as you had here. Don't compromise on prayers. Communicate with God whenever you feel any confusion. Eat your meals on time, and spend time in good company. Your mother and I will stay in touch with you, and we'll also come to the city to meet you at the end of every month. 
Daddy, please don't worry at all. I won't do anything that could embarrass you, trust me, if you're sending me there to study. I'll focus solely on my studies. I hope you understand all my words. And you will act accordingly? Yes, sure daddy. Harper, hurry up my daughter, your train will arrive in an hour. We need to reach the train station 20 minutes earlier. Yes mummy, don't worry. My packing is complete. I've put all the necessary things in my bag. Well, come out soon. Your daddy are waiting for you. He'll drop you at train station. Okay mama. Harper my daughter. Take care of yourself and remember everything I've told you. Sure daddy why not? Well, your train has arrived. Now board the train and embark on your educational journey. Okay daddy take care, love you bye. Okay my daughter. Take care. Wow, the building of my university is so tall. I've never seen such a big building in my life. And our village so small. Nothing like that there. Here there are tall buildings everywhere, big wide roads. I never seen dreamed that I would get admission to the biggest university in such a big city. Here I am, wasting time standing around. I should go inside and talk to them. I'll show them my admission slip and ask them to arrange hostel accommodation for me. Yes, how may I help you? Hello madam, my name is Harper, and this is my admission slip. I have paid the fee online. Kindly check it. Okay sure why not? Your fee has also been paid, and you can attend classes starting tomorrow. We will also arrange your accommodation, and you will be sharing the room with two other girls, as per our system's policy. Inside, bunk beds will be provided, and you will decide among yourselves who takes which bunk bed. Thank you madam, for explaining everything in such detail. I understand all of your instructions now, and I will start my classes from tomorrow. <laughs> it seems like our university has a very open atmosphere. Look at their dressing. It appears that a lot of broad-minded people study in this university. Well, I don't care about those things. I came here to pursue education and nothing else. How are you? I saw you in class too, you were sitting at the back. Yes, I'm good and fine. If you don't mind, can I sit with you for a while? Yes, sure why not? Thank you so much. Please introduce yourself because we are also classmates, and this degree that we are pursuing, both of us are doing it together. I noticed you in class. Everyone was talking to each other, but you were sitting quietly. So. I thought maybe you were feeling lonely, that's why I came and offered you some company. I am very thankful to you for keeping me company. My name is Harper and I belong to a small village. It was my dream to get admission in this university which has now come true, and I am very happy to meet you as well. What is your name and where do you live? What do you do? The village you mentioned is very far from here. Do you live here alone or have you come with your family? No. I didn't come with my family. I have taken accommodation in the hostel here, which the university is provides. And you haven't told me anything about yourself yet. Oh sorry, Harper, I forgot to get my introduction done with you. My name is Catherine. And I live in the same city with my friends. We took an apartment. Fashion designing and modeling are my passion. And the remaining time I have, I dedicate to my education. 
and from fashion shows, I earn so well that I can easily cover my university expenses, accommodation, and living costs, and even save some money. I have earned a lot of fame in this industry. Tomorrow, I am very busy. I have to go to an event where I will walk on the ramp. I have very high demand. People like me a lot, and I have a lot of fan following. So your family knows all this? That you do modeling? Catwalk etc etc. Harper, come on, what happened with you? We are broad-minded and liberal people. Of course my family knows, and we don't get caught up in trivial matters. My parents have even told me I do whatever I like simple. No, no, don't take offense at what I said. I was just saying it to you anyway, and my intention wasn't to hurt you. Relax. No, I wasn't offended by anything you said. I just shared my point of view with you. My belief is that life should be lived with enjoyment. And in life, one should try everything that brings them happiness. But my belief is that we should live our lives according to God will. It seems like you're very religious girl, but Harper I'm liberal. Am I saying the truth? My purpose of coming to this university is solely to obtain my education. Shall we talk about another topic? Let's talk about another topic, but my belief is remains that a person should do what brings happiness to their heart. Well, Harper, let me say one thing sincerely. The simpler you are, the more beautiful you are. Maybe you don't realize how beautiful you are yourself. Just a little tip on your dressing style. And otherwise you're very nice. Thank you so much, Catherine, for saying such kind words for me. Hello daddy how are you? Yes, I'm fine my daughter. How is your education going? And did you have prayers today? Yes, daddy, my education is going very well. I'm attending my classes regularly. It's just that I missed my prayers today because my class was early in the morning, so I forget. No, my daughter, you shouldn't neglect prayers in any way. Well, you seems busy. Please take care of yourself. Okay, daddy. Take care, bye. Harper, today's lecture was very boring. I was tired. I felt sleepy in class. Yes, I was tired too today. There's no doubt about it. Our lecture today was quite long. Well, what's going on? How are your shows going? Yes, my shows are going well. But the two girls who were with me in the apartment have shifted somewhere else, so today I have put up a notice on the notice board outside for their replacement. Why? Why did they shift from your place? Was there any issue with them? I don't know, they just told me they want to shift somewhere else and they don't feel comfortable here because the lift under building has been out of order for four days. Maybe that's the reason. Yes, you're right, that could be the reason for their shifting. Harper, tell me, how much are you paying for your accommodation at University Hostel? If you are paying that much, then I suggest you shift with me. Living expenses will be lower there, and you'll get a lot more facilities. What do you think? I understand, my parents won't allow me to live out of my university. Look, listen to me carefully. If you live like this, then I'm telling you the truth, after two months you're going back home and wasting your father money. I don't understand what you're trying to say. What do you mean? Expand your mind and thoughts a bit. You were living in a big city, you'll have to adjust according to the people here, otherwise I'll suggest you go back to your village. Don't waste your time here and return to your village. In everything, in every matter, you have objections. Look, listen to me. The world has moved forward a lot, and we should live according to our society standards. Now if you object to everything saying my daddy will be unhappy, my mommy will be unhappy, this will happen, that will happen, then, Harper, I'm telling you seriously, you'll surely get a degree from this university, but you'll still be stuck where you are today. The same village thoughts will occupy your minds. Catherine, my parents have spent a lot to send me here for my education. 
how I can deny anything they say? Your parents are not unique in this world, spending money on their child's education. It's the responsibility of every parent to provide education to their children. Please come out of this fantasy world and open your eyes to see how beautiful the world is. Change your dressing sense a bit. You are a beautiful girl. What is lacking within you that you're living such a simple life? I would suggest you to shift with me, live a peaceful life, and enjoy life. I'll help you get a job, earn your own income, save your own money, and learn to live life to the fullest. I want to share my perception with all of you, what I am feeling, what I am thinking at the moment. As I write this, I feel that many lives in our society are being ruined. Because they are shown dreams that have no connection to reality, and such people are told that life is only about indulgence, and they are not told that everything has a limit. The Bible guides us on how to live our lives Matthew 6.33 But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. And in Micah 6.8 he has told you, O oh man, what is good, and what does the Lord requires of you but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. But many lives are ruined in our society in the name of this so-called enjoyment, because such people start walking with their eyes closed and end up on a path that leads only to destruction. Well, now let's see what happened next. Rena, you know, sometimes, I think we should also shift to the same city as Harper so that she can stay with us too. Liam, please don't overthink it. She's gone to study. Once she completes it, she'll come back. You have agricultural work here. Use your mind. How can we go and live there so far away? Okay, I just has this thought in my mind, and I shared it with you. You just focus on your work, everything else will be better. I'm here for you, don't worry. But I was thinking that when Harper completes one month, I and you will go to meet her. Okay sure why not Liam? I always ask this question to you, and I'm asking you this question again, should I make this series in three episodes or two episodes? It's very important to ask you. Because your opinion matters a lot to me. You are my YouTube family, and everyone is respected for me. To be continued. May God bless you all amen. See you tomorrow. Take care bye.